All right, on many places, I'm starting to see people recommend 32 gigabyte of RAM over 16 gigabytes for gaming. And what are your thoughts on this is 16 gigabyte era uh, ending? Is it ending? Are we no longer recommending 16 gigabytes of memory, Tim? Uh, I think 16 gigabytes for most games, most instances would be fine. Certainly not optimal, but it'd be fine. I don't think you'd be sacrificing any real performance or again, it depends on the game. We have seen instances where I think Microsoft Flight Simulator, not that that's necessarily a game, but it's an example where that was very memory uh, intense. I think probably the Call of Duty games are pretty bad as well or yep. use a lot of memory. <laughs> but I think the easiest way to answer the question is, you're paying about, I think, 60-ish dollars US for 16 gigabytes of memory. And then two 16 uh, gigabyte modules for a 32 gigabyte capacity is just over $100. It's about twice the price. But I think the the main thing is it's such an insignificant cost given you'll be paying twice that for a sort of mid-ish range entry-level CPU. I mean, what's a decent motherboard these days? Most people probably pay around $150 for a decent motherboard. So... Spending 100 110 dollars on 32 gigabytes of memory, you might as well just do that to ensure that you don't run out of memory because you know that will start to impact performance and the experience. So, yep, for an extra six, even if you were buying one kit and then another kit, it's an extra 60 dollars, maybe 70 on the higher side for some decent quality stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's probably you stick with 16 gig for like your budget entry Very level budget systems, entry level, yep. but I think if you're sort of looking at Decent quality like Core i5, Ryzen 5 and above, um, especially if you've got a decent GPU, then yeah, $60 sort of difference. Might as well. Yeah. Yeah. But de definitely, especially if you're doing other things outside of gaming that may use a bit of memory. It just mm. uh, The famous Google Chrome memory usage. Yeah. I mean, if memory was still like $200 <laughs> for 16 and then having to spend $400, something crazy yeah. like that, even $300, then... Maybe not worth it for most users, but yeah, $60, $70, you might as well just double your memory capacity and ensure that you don't run into any problems.